Ain't a me bow on you, Shawa. Shawa, my Niger people. I know you guys know that song. <laughs> Hi everyone, <laughs> Timmy here. The song basically said, "My people, how are you? Are you okay?" So um, this is Timmy T E M I. Welcome to Timmy's Beautiful Thoughts, where we talk about makeup and life. So today I'm gonna be doing this look um, using one palette. I used um this Rimmel um palette to get this look one more neutral you know and then one more colorful look using this um palette because i know that um you know sometimes we get kind of oh, what can i do with this palette so that's what we're going to be doing today and we're also going to be discussing honesty you know why is it that people are so you know people don't cherish honesty anymore you know so stay tuned and i'll see you guys in a bit so guys um I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to be doing two looks with this palette right here. So I'm going to do one um, neutral on this eye and then something more dramatic on this eye. So I already did my brows. I um, cleaned it up with concealer and I applied um, my eye primer. But I'm going to go over my eye with um, concealer because um, when I do concealer as a base, it helps the color to stay on um, much better. All right. I'm just using my LA Girl Concealer to just prime my eye. And it also kind of covers the discoloration because my eyes are a bit darker. So. All right. And this is really my first time using this palette. I... I tried it a few minutes ago and it was acting a bit funny, but we, we you know we'll try it together. We'll see how it works. When you know it was acting really funny. But I I'll, I'll try to make it work. Because it's a really um affordable um eyeshadow. It's eight ninety nine dollars CVS or Walgreens. And it has some really nice colours. It's something that you know if you're someone that you just want one palette that you can use, you know, for like everyday look, but when you're going out, you also want to be able to use that palette for, you know, to kind of do a colorful, a dramatic look. It's, it has those kind of colors that you can work with. Okay. So concealer is on my eye. I don't set my concealer with powder because I want it to be tacky. Because I, I, for me, I feel like the color goes on more brighter when I don't set the um, concealer. It, the color kind of um clings on a little better so i'm going to be using this um purple color in the middle as a transition color because that's really the only color in there and the palette is really dusty so i'll be using that as a transition color on both eyes because that's the only color that works as a transition color anyway all right so i'm going to put that in my crease and i'm going really really gentle and you know lightly i'm going to really blow up the color Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta adjust my mirror. All right, there we go, much better. Okay, same color on this side. That's the only mid-tone color that they have in this palette. So, I mean, for my skin tone, it works as a transition. I think if you were lighter, I think, it should still work, but you just have to go with a really light hand, you know. All right. All right, let's do the natural side first. I'm going to do something a bit, you know, let's do something with the kind of rusty reddish color. Okay, I'm going to intensify the crease and the outer V with the it's kind of like a dark purple color this yeah this palette is i don't know if you you know i don't know if you guys can see that it's very dusty all right so just pat the color on the corner of of the eye go in that like you see um that v little shape on the outer corner of the eye just pat the color there first that and that's pretty much the only dark color in this palette that you can use to like kind of smoke out a look. So I'm gonna be using the same color on this edge too, but all right. 
so once i pat it and i have the intensity then i'm gonna just blend on the edges into the crease <laughs> I'm going to be using the kind of golden, gold rusty kind of color on the lid. So, and this, and this eye, I'm not like doing like, uh, you know, cutting the crease with a concealer or anything. Because remember, we're going with something a bit more neutral, you know, so... Well, this is neutral to me anyway. This might not be neutral to some people. <laughs> but to me, this is neutral. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go back and just with a blending brush and blend. So. This palette would be good for uh, those of you that just want something simple. You know, you don't you don't want anything that is too. It's not that it's not pigmented. It's pigmented, but it's not like intense, like in your face kind of pigment. You know. Um, and I have to keep going and patting it, and you know, it's not that the palette is bad. It's not bad, but it could be better. <laughs> it's not just the kids fighting. I bet they are fighting about the TV. Uh, okay, so that's you know pretty much it. I'm gonna leave it like that on this eye. Let me just blend the edges. Okay, so this would be good for someone that doesn't like too much color. You want something a little bit, you know, a little drama, but not too much drama. I think this look would really um be good for that i mean i'm gonna finish up um later with like some liner and mascara but let's go on this side so there's some blues and some greens i want to use that really bright blue it was giving me an issue when i was trying it out earlier but we'll see i'll, I'll try i'll put concealer to try and see if that would help it work better so remember we already placed that um transition color on there so what do i want going with this blue it has a little bit of a sheen it's like a satin let me go in with that blue it's like a navy blue kind of color let me see if we can pack that in the crease and you see that i'm just patting it in i'm not like swiping or anything because i want that blue to really show has blue. Okay, we're going to go back with that um, brush that I use for the transition color. And I'm going to, just going to blend around the edges just to soften that blue so that there's no ash line at the top. And you see, because I pat that blue in, you see that it's it's showing the blue color. Okay. All right. Let's see what do I want to do. Okay, I'm gonna take that dark color. I'm gonna put that on the outer edge. Only on the outer edge, though. I'm not gonna blend it in too much. I'm just gonna put it right here. Go back with that blending brush with the transition color. Just blend, blend, blend so that everything looks seamless. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a concealer because I want to use that bright blue. And I think a concealer will really help it to show up really well. I'm going to use the LA Girl Concealer in um, Fun. Uh, oh, I put on a little too much. Uh oh, oh. 
Okay, I'm using this flat concealer brush. Mm. And I learned I learned this trick from Yuki. So I have a fold right here. So anytime I put eyeshadow right here and I close my eyes, it transfers. So what I learned from her is she puts the concealer down and then she kind of lifts a height. You see the concealer transfers up. So that's where I know that's where my cut crease is gonna start. I learned that from Yuki. You know, I like her. She's a she's a YouTuber. I like her, she's funny. And she's Nigerian like me. <laughs> hey Ninja. <laughs> I Let's hope that this blue will go on this more vibrant. I hope it doesn't mess up like it was earlier. Okay. Let me use this. Should I use this angle brush? Okay, let me use this angle brush. That blue, blue is really pretty. It's a very pretty blue. Ooh, come on, don't mess up now. Okay, so far so good. It's showing up. Yeah, yeah, this is the kind of color that you have to like keep going back in, picking up, going back in, picking up. And it's a matte color too. So it doesn't have any shine or anything like that. I'm going to leave the inner corner um, out because I want to put that white color in there. Let's just keep building this up i like this kind of palette you know where you can do something more neutral but then if you are feeling like oh i want to do something a bit colorful you know you're feeling a bit funky you can go in and do something colorful i, I don't know let me see let me put on some more Okay, I think I like that intensity. Yeah. Okay, the blue is acting right now. <laughs> it's acting well now, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to go back with that deep purple color. Just to intensify the outside right here. Because I feel like I lost that color a bit. And I'm going to really drag it out. Like that. Okay, and remember that deep blue that we used. I'm gonna go in just a little bit of that right here, just a little bit, not too much, because I don't want to, I don't want to mess up that blue, that bright. Well, I guess it is. It, it looks blue in the pan, but it's looking like teal, or you know, on my eye. But yeah, I'm not mad at it. It's good. It's fine. Okay, um, so I want to go in with that white color. Actually, I'm going to put that white in here as well. And I'll put it there as well. Okay. It's a shimmery, it has a little bit of a sheen. A white. Oh, I like how that looks. <laughs> my friend is like wow transformation <laughs> okay 
let me just i'm not gonna do it as intense on this side just a little bit all right let's blend let's blend it out some because i don't want it remember on this eye is the natural eye okay all right now i'm gonna go in with a liner where is my liner oh my god am i always looking for everything eh? tell me i'm gonna be using this um physician formula ultra black eye booster this eyeliner to me is the easiest eyeliner to learn how to do a uh, um wing because you see how the tip is very very thin oh i said I keep pronouncing th as t no it's thin okay there we go <laughs> i keep doing that i think it's that your bonus in me <laughs> okay so you see how the the it the tip is very very thin so it's easy it's going to be easy to like really get a nice you know wing and also it's, it's going to be easy to like go a little bit at a time because the the tip is not fat at all it's very skinny okay so Let's do this eye first. I'm not going to do a dramatic um, wing on this. I'm just going to do something really simple. What's a baby wing to you? Might not be a baby wing to me. <laughs> to me, that's a baby wing. <laughs> okay. All right. On this eye, we're going to really put some drama into that wing. Okay. If you guys are interested in learning how to do a wing liner, comment below okay so that i can do a separate video on how to get a really good wing liner it took me it took me like two years <laughs> to learn how to do a wing but i kept trying and trying and trying it so all right so lately i've been doing my wing not too high up i've been doing it more like out outward instead of upward so that's what i'm gonna try and do here I'm going to just pull it out. Oh, I think my husband's back. Oh, Madam Questioner. Eyeliner, why are you doing this to me? You're not intense like I want you to be. You're not showing up with black. I have praised you. I've praised you. You this eyeliner. Don't come and disappoint me now. Okay? Show these people that you are what I have claimed you are. <laughs> okay. And the good thing about this eyeliner is it has a kind of like a pump thingy inside the cap. So you can pump it and you get more um more liquid inside the pen. So I like that. Because not all pale eyeliners do that. Oh Jesus, Mr. Man! I need to tell my husband to be a bit quiet. Well, I really like this eye look. I would go with this one. But you know what? Hey! Preferences, right? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go in with a mascara. And honestly, I think this eye, I would probably wear lashes, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm too lazy for lashes the only reason i don't wear lashes often is because i'm just so lazy i don't want to go through the stress you know so i'm just gonna go in with this voluminous lash paradise by l'oreal i just started using it and i like it i know when it first came out you know it was the hype thing back then everybody was going crazy for it but i'm just now trying it it's okay it's not as good as my buxom i'm sorry my little sister took my buxom <laughs> she was like oh this is so awesome you know as the good big sister that i am i'm like sure you can have it <laughs> but let me not lie i already bought another one <laughs> so <laughs> hey but hey i would be good okay i was being sisterly <laughs> 
Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Can you give me? Uh, okay. All right. So. I don't know. My box arm does more than this. It really lengthens my lash and you know gives it volume. This one is not doing that as much. Okay. What do you guys think? You know, let me know which side do you like. Do you like the more natural side or you like the more colorful side? I like this side. You know, I really like this side. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish up my face and I'll be back. We're going to be talking about honesty today, okay? So, I'll be right back. So, I did my face. You know, the face is all there. So, I'm going to line my um, bottom lash line. So, I'm going to be using this blue. It's it's a deep blue from um, Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Coal Kajal. I'm going to just put that right here. Ugh, this eyeliner is dragging. It's not it's not as creamy as I want it to be. I don't like highliners like this. I don't know if it's my fault. Maybe it dried up. Maybe I left it open. Who knows? But it's it's not dragging sha. Ugh. Come on. Alright. There we go. On this side, I'm going to be going with a um, brown. And this is Aume Eyeliner in... What color is this? Black brown. And you could you could use um, black if you want a, something more intense. But when I don't want um like too smoky of a um, look... That's when I go with this brown color. See, it gives a little bit of dimension, but it, it doesn't make it like too like smoky. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a brush to just kind of smoke it out just a little bit, just to blend it. Okay, and then I'm gonna use that. Where is it? What is that high mascara that I don't like? I'm sorry, I don't know people like it. Uh, my box arm is better. No, uh, maybe it's working for the lower lash line. Sir. Well, it worked for that part. Okay. Okay, there we go. Guys, I really like this look. Okay, guys, so with this look, I want to go with something nude on the lips. I'm, I'm just going to go with a nude um, lip. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Give Me Mocha. And this um, Rimmel Lip Liner in Coffee Bean. So I'm just going to line my lip i really like the tone of this lip liner it's not too brown and it's not too red it's like a good mixture Alright, that's the finished look, guys. I really like it. I really like this blue. <clears throat> so, guys, one thing that I want to mention like, something that I've actually noticed lately is uh, I've noticed that people don't cherish me. Maybe it's just me, you know. Comment down below.
or if you if you feel differently. But I feel like lately, you know, to me it seems like people want to be lied to. You know, it's like you know, like you can be telling someone the truth and they can take it as you being hateful. You know, like oh she's just a hater. You know, and I understand that some people, you know, their truth telling is out of envy or jealousy. And I, I get that. I get that in some circumstances, that's what's going on. But I think overall, I think somebody trying to tell you the truth about a situation, you know, you shouldn't see that as being um, hateful or being a hater. You know, I think that sometimes we just need to step back. And this is one thing that I try to do. When someone is trying to correct me or they're trying to tell me something, initially i might be defensive but one thing that i always do is once the situation is over and we, the person has finished talking i always go back in my head i do this a lot and i, I try to think about okay what is this person saying objectively is there, is there any truth to what they're saying and i really try to like go through everything they're saying and see if it does apply and if it does apply i make the conscious effort to change you know whatever the situation is so i just it really bothers me, you know, that even friends, friends and even siblings sometimes cannot be honest with each other. You know, you know, you saying the truth can be seen as you being judgmental. I, when did telling somebody the truth equate to being judgmental? For example, if your bread stinks, why in God's name, if I love you, should I not tell you, hello, brother, husband, friend, you know, you might want to pop some tic tac, <laughs> you know, I just, in a, in a kind way, you know, I'm not saying that you should like embarrass somebody, but when did that become someone being an aider or someone being judgmental that you can just, you know, tell your friends or your siblings or your, your, your spouse, you know, oh, this, 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 you know, I want you guys to really think about it. Personally, I have actually this is difficult to do i won't even lie i've been trying to take on a vow of honesty and be honest in every situation trust me that is difficult because it's, it's the little things that get you right you're la running late and you're like instead of saying oh i'm running late i'm still at home you're like no no i'm on my way i'm five minutes away <laughs> and you're still at home you know little things like that and I'm, i've actually been taking the conscious effort to be honest in those even those little things because i think that if you're honest in the little things you'll be honest in the big things right so that's just you know my little two cents for you know for this week something i've just been thinking about you know i hope you guys enjoy the look you know let me know which side you like the natural side or the um colorful blue side i like the blue side so you guys comment below okay and um make sure you like and subscribe um and um make sure you ring the bell because if you don't ring the bell you're not going to get notified when i um, upload new videos so make sure you ring the bell so that you get notified and i'll see you guys next week bye